Hi, Marshmallow12.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find what user the country is in. Um, the best way to do this is to actually download an IP database, um, but because it's that large and that big, um, the, uh, most web providers probably won't allow you to actually import that into a database. So, Another way around this is to use an API. Basically, an API you use another an, another website's IP list, basically. So that's the downside to this. the The advantage is it's really easy to code. It's only a few lines of code. Uh, but the downside is is that if their website goes offline, so does your um well not your website but your your script for determining the user's location. So if you've got headers, for example, um, and their website goes down, then your website won't redirect the user to the appropriate page. So that's the only problem. But um, apart from that, it this will work. Um, um, so what you need to do is I've just opened up Dreamweaver here and just set some PHP tags inside the body tags of HTML. And uh, so basically, we've got a blank page. Um, so what you need to do first is to go to um, a website that provides you with an API code. Um, so for example, host IP is one that I've been using and I've been testing. So what you can do is you can go to that, host IP.info, um, and if you go to API, um, it says I'm in London, but I'm not in London. And the location never works properly, but the country always works. So um, if you if you want to find a city overall, I wouldn't use this one because it says I'm in London, which I'm mm, like I don't know how far away, hundred miles probably. Um, anyway, the the country always works. So basically, what you need to do is if we just put in here um, CC. Um, actually, um, if I just show you what this looks like, uh, so well. Uh, so basically, we're going to be using this one here, um, api.host.ip.info forward slash country.php, because um, it gives us um, the, our two digit country code only in the page. So if I just copy that and um, paste this into a new tab, as you can see, we get GB for Great Britain. Um, and I can't really test this in another country because I'm not in another country. Um, and it doesn't really work for proxies either, so um, that's another downside. But I doubt your users will be using proxy servers. Um, so what we can do is, if we come into um, Dreamweaver, we can say um, cc, which is I've put as country code, is um, get underscore file content, or I think it's file underscore get contents yeah I always get them mixed up file underscore get underscore content and if we paste in here that um, URL um, that will basically get everything on the page which the only thing on the page is the two digit country code so this CC variable will now contain a two character country code and um, so as you can see I'm in Great Britain so it would be GB um, United States will be US, um, etc. Australia will be U AU, I think it is. Um, if you want to know country codes, then you can just type in um, two two character country codes into Google, and um, you will get a, just a list of every single country in the world with the uh, the country code next to it. So now what we can do now we've got the country code. All we need to do is just create a lot of if statements to say if cc is equal to gb for example then we can just echo out um, you live in I'll just put great Britain for example like that and if I just not that one this one as you can see we get you live in great Britain um, now I can't really test this for any others but if you want to do U US, so so America, um, you can just do that. 
and then this is what you could use to now actually redirect users to uh, an appropriate page for example say you have a subdomain just for um, Great Britain users then you can just then basically just say if the uh, country is GB you can just go and create a header and say location um, GB dot domain dot com for example um, or if you've got them in folders and you just put uh, just something like that you know what I mean you know you probably know how to uh, create a um, header uh, redirects just stuff like that and um, so basically that's how to just get what country the user is using um, it the only it is a it is good to use an API but um, if something happens to them for example they go offline or something happens on their servers then chances are yours won't work as well um, but the other good side is they're constantly updating their IP database so um, it will always stay up to date and um, yeah basically there's not much to say about it um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time